Welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege Christmas Special. So let's get started. Rainbow Six Siege has a full Christmas tree decoration simulator. So Rainbow Six Siege actually has three baubles built into it that you can put anywhere on your Christmas tree. So we'll put one. Ha oh shoot. Um, the game comes with two baubles that you can put anywhere on the Christmas trees, and that is awesome. Look at that. Don't they just fit in perfectly? That one's kind of floating, but never mind. Great thing is you can also pick them up, which is amazing, then put them back on or whatever you want. All right, um, although I can't pick this one up. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can decorate the Christmas tree any way you want. The advanced options in these baubles, though, is that they have cameras, which means you can spy on your presents and make sure no one steals them. And of course, you can actually pop in with your friends and actually decorate with buddies. And look at all these different decorations we have to cover the tree with. Absolutely perfect. So this is the perfect game to play over Christmas period. So that is confirmed. You can decorate a Christmas tree in Rainbow Six Siege. A Christmas tree is frag resistant. So we know that if you leave like Christmas tree lights on too often, the tree could burn down. But what about frag grenades? Apparently Christmas trees and wrapping paper are extremely resistant to frag grenades. So the good thing is, if someone comes into your house with a frag grenade this Christmas, your presents and your Christmas tree is perfectly fine. So that is confirmed. A Christmas tree is nitro cell resistant. So we know it's frag resistant. Well, what about a nitro cell? Nitro cells are known to be extremely powerful. And again, Christmas tree and presents are fine. So you don't have to worry about your Christmas tree when it comes to a nitro cell. So that is very good. That is confirmed. A Christmas tree can save you from explosions. So we know that the Christmas tree can survive explosions itself, but it can also protect you from explosions. So this is obviously 50% Christmas magic and 50% bad hitboxes. But it will indeed protect you from explosions that are kind of within it. Look at that, it just absorbs that explosion. It will even do it for friendlies. So we've got our buddies here. It completely protects all of them. So that is confirmed. Christmas trees will protect you from explosions. A Christmas tree is asphyxiation bolt resistant. So these bolts set the oxygen in the air on fire. But even though we know that if you leave the lights on too long, the tree might go up in flames. Apparently, they will not go up in flames with an asphyxiation bolt. So that is good to know because you never know. You might have someone over a fire fixation bolts around your house so that's confirmed a christmas tree is gas canister resistant so of course it's explosive resistant we've tried setting on fire what about gas canisters and as you can see i think what's happening here is that the tree is making so much oxygen that it's actually pushing the gas away from itself now the practical implications of this is if someone happens to fart you know at christmas maybe they've had too much to eat or something and they set up a real stinky one just get close to the tree and it will push away the smell with fresh air so it's perfect so that is confirmed christmas trees are fart resistant a christmas tree is breaching shot resistant so of course ash might come across for christmas and she might start shooting her ash breaching rounds at the christmas tree thankfully again the christmas tree is built of incredible stuff and will completely and utterly absorb those explosions so that is confirmed a christmas tree is blitz flash resistant so of course at christmas there's a lot of flashes a lot of flash photography and of course if blitz happens to come over he's got this big powerful flash thankfully your christmas tree will be completely resistant to this it will not be affected at all you may not be able to see anything, but at least the Christmas tree's all right, so that's confirmed. A Christmas tree is thermite charge resistant. So of course, this is the big test for the tree, and as we can see, this might not be good because thermite can go through metal. Like, it is the most powerful stuff. Like, it can cut through metal. Like, if you put it down on an engine or a car, it can go right through it. But apparently, Christmas trees are completely protected from thermite. Now we will do this again just to be sure. I am a little bit worried about the teddy bear here though. But uh, we will see if the tree protects. Like, it should be alright, right? Teddy bear should be... 
Uh oh. Teddy bear's gone. Oh dear. Um I don't know who was getting that for Christmas, so Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. I um I think we see it downstairs. Christmas tree's fine though, but um this kid's present, ooh, yeah. Kinda kinda decapitated it. Anyway, confirmed. Christmas trees are thermite resistant. Even operators get a hangover. Now this is completely true. Even the best trained operators get hangovers from drinking too much. And fun fact, me, Hawkmill and Pyrites have never ever been drunk. But this myth is confirmed. <laughs> and pause. <laughs> Uh. Oh! oh! There's what the Christmas. There's what the Christmas. That's mine. Best present ever. <laughs> it really does look like one. <laughs> We've We're got a uh, dinner in group four. If you want, try and look cool. Get my oh. coordinate. Neil, fucking move! <laughs> there we go. Neil! There we go. Ah, that's good. And then flash. Yeah. And then fuck all you. There's no C4. There's no C4. There's no C4. There's no C4. Oh. Well, no. no. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That kill cam was brutal. <laughs> oh, right. boss, are you going to kill yourself now, eh? Oh, fuck you. Now, I've got a couple of recommendations for you. First up is Brian with a second episode of his Obvious Mythbusters, so you should definitely go check out that. Plus, I've got this other video from another YouTuber, and the backstory behind this is that he recorded gameplay, but the actual game noises did not record, so he ended up redoing them with his own voice, and it's absolutely hilarious. So here's a quick clip from that video. Hawkmill recommended them to me and I think it is absolutely hilarious video so go watch it and I'll catch you next time. Merry Christmas guys!